Why does a truck owner change brands? Well, if you're Cecil Bougainer of North Bay, Ontario, it's because the old brand of truck just wasn't getting the job done, and neither was the old dealer. Cecil plows snow, a lot of it up there in Northern Ontario. And for his snow plow business, he has special truck needs. So after much research, he bought a new Cummins powered 2019 Ram 3500. So I need a new truck, having problems with the other one. Went to my regular dealer I was using, and they told me I had to get this and this for the truck. These options and these options just to get this what I wanted. And so they more or less told me that I had like what I wanted. They wouldn't listen to what I wanted. So I went to the, over to Ram, the sales rep I was talking to, he says, well, we don't have a truck like you want. He says, but come over to my office and we will build you your truck. He says, here's the frame, tell me what you want. <laughs> they treated us very good. We, I like the trucks. So we made our deal and ended up buying three of them. We bought the 3500 HD, and I bought my wife 1500 Classic, and then my son his 1500 Classic, all 2019s. Just mainly because we had such great service. Because again, you're doing something very specific, um, and you said, "Look, I'm plowing." Were they good about understanding what that meant as far as them saying, okay, well, you can do this, this, and this? Actually, yes, the sales rep was, because his dad actually owns a big company too. And does the same thing. They plow, they work in the mines and that. So the sales rep had actually had a good idea of what I needed to begin with as soon as I told him what we did. Which made it a lot easier for us too to deal with them. Like even hooking up the plow and everything. Everything is just right here. They didn't have to run extra wire or further or, I don't know, they just sat it up nice. I, I worked the truck all day. I dropped my plow. I'm not embarrassed with the truck to go see a CEO of another company that I deal with. He, he wants to go check out property. You're not embarrassed for him to come in your truck like you were the old work truck. Checked on the internet a lot for all the specs between each truck and and then I noticed around town, like around here, a lot of the bigger construction companies, this is the truck they were running too. They, they had the plows and that on them and a couple companies been running them for a few years now. And I actually even talked to the dealership and that to see how often their trucks and that were in for maintenance. And even the truck owners. They said it's very minimal. Just regular maintenance is all they've done the last three, four years. Old. Oil change, brakes, tires. Like... And that is what you want to hear. Yes, absolutely. Impressed with the, the torque, the power it has. I mean, I guess, I don't know, it must make a difference. I just went the six speed transmission too instead of the eight. But handles great. Like even the rough roads, not for being a one ton. Like just the motor just seems to have enough power to keep it going all the time. You're hauling the knot, it just doesn't seem to run out of power. Like it just keeps going as far as I push. Like some, sometimes I plow three, four kilometers a road and it just never ever runs out of power. It just keeps going, even if I got my trailer on behind me plowing. Winter has just begun in North Bay, yet Cecil has already put 20,000 kilometers on his new Ram, making his rounds. In fact, it was snowing again as we parted ways. We headed south while he went back to clearing his customers' lots all around Lake Nipissing, a job that Cecil can expect to be doing for years to come with his Cummins-powered HD Ram. In this video series, we visited Ram HD owners across the country with our next generation Ram 3500 HD. We were showcasing that truck, but it also served as our crew transport for each film location. In total, we racked up over 20,000 kilometers in just four months. The Ram never missed a beat, and hundreds of hours of seat time passed comfortably. Now that the series is done, we're certainly gonna miss that big Ram.